Well, guys, I wish I could come on here and tell you how great a month it's been in trading and just investing in general, but unfortunately, that is not the case. And today, I just wanted to update you guys on me selling some puts and calls, I guess, not just puts, on the side for some extra income. How that's been going, um, spoiler alert, this month, not too great. And also, I wanted to bring up an article that I found on Yahoo Finance and if that sounds interesting to you at all, feel free to subscribe. That way you don't miss any in the future and you can follow along on this journey. Watch me win or lose. Um, so so far it's been mostly losing. <laughs> uh, but hopefully that's a good learning lesson for you. And I wouldn't mind also making you know more consistent content, maybe even daily, and just talk about things like this that uh, I find interesting and maybe laughable at times. Let's make this lighthearted. Let's make this fun. I want to make this channel fun and um, try to do the best we can with that. So let's start with this. Uh, German wages barely grew in 2021 despite skyrocketing inflation. I wonder if they've seen the U.S. And I say that because if we go down in the article, they say the negotiated wages of unionized employees rose by an average of 1.3% in the year of 2021 over in Germany, but the consumer price Prices projected to rise by 3% this year. I wonder if they saw our CPI data of what was it in this month or November 6.8%, something like that. And they think 3% skyrocketing. <laughs> I would like to see what our wage increase has been throughout the year. Maybe we'll see that in a future article, but I'm willing to bet it's not far off from 1.3%. Even though we have all of these jobs now starting at 15 bucks an hour, I don't know if that's considered in this kind of poll because they're unionized employees. But anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Let's go ahead and look at the portfolio. Um, yeah, look at today. That says it all. I put two grand more in this portfolio. I'm telling myself I will not put any more cash in this portfolio. This is it. So we'll see if we can grow this. Um, I don't know if I'll stick to that or not, but for right now in my head, I'm like, this is it. That's all the money I'm putting into this portfolio. And if we go to the whole month, I am down almost 10 grand. So not a good feeling. Um, we do have some options expiring tomorrow. So we have a bunch of call options that I sold and none of them look like they will get assigned anytime soon because all of their prices are far from the strike price that I sold these call options at. And then something else I've done, you might have noticed if you're an astute viewer of my last video is I rolled back a few of my puts and we'll see in my spreadsheet how much I gained in credit. So for AMC, for instance, I had a $20 put that expired tomorrow. It started going down. It got pretty close to 20 earlier in the week. So I went ahead and I rolled it back to next Friday, gained some more premium. And so far it's been working in my favor. So the cool thing, I mentioned this in my last video, feel free to go check that out. You can also make some more premium. And if you want, possibly you're able to lower the strike price if the stock continues to go down. So that's one of the things where time is on your side. And I did that with a few of these. Um, CCXI, I also rolled back. I rolled back two of my Astra puts, and that's pretty much it. I've um, just been rolling back, and so far, it's done me okay. So far this month, we are actually up 670 bucks in premium. If everything stays as is, and I don't buy to close, I might buy to close a few of these, and so maybe this number will change, but... Um, if I let all of these just expire worthless and not get assigned, or if they get assigned, uh, I'll make 670 bucks so far this month in premium, which isn't too shabby. Even after that failure of the put credit spread and me testing that out. So, because that made me lose $174. I think tomorrow I want to talk about a particular stock um, that I find interesting and... Maybe we can do a little a little brief discussion on that. It's called Marketa. And we might talk about this stock in particular tomorrow. Um, not sure if I plan on selling any puts on this stock in the future, but I do find it interesting. And stay tuned for that if that video does come out. And I hope to see you in the next one. And feel free to subscribe, like I said. And always take care.